This is a short tutorial to show you how to uh, customize or just give you the basics uh, to be able to customize your WordPress uh, website with the mantra theme and uh, we utilize this mantra theme uh, pretty often because it uh, provides such flexible customization without having to get into CSS or HTML uh, at all you can can customize almost every aspect of your website and so it's very powerful anyway just to get started here I want to show you uh, what the the back end how to get into the back end of the website and then uh, we'll go through some of the customization features just very rapidly just so you know where things are at and then you can look at them in more detail later uh, to get to the uh, administration back end you're going to, going to simply add slash wp-admin to your address bar after your domain name so just like that hit carriage return it's going to come up with a login page and you'll want to put in your administrative name and password your admin name and password and then log in and then um, one thing i want to just point out right away is you can specify you can actually manage your users one of the things you will probably want to do right away is to add new users uh, to your WordPress site that uh, they may be uh, the other people in your company who will need access to the site to uh, do blog posting, manage calendars, etc. Uh, or it may be that uh, you want to just add one with your own name so that your blog posts uh, show up with your name on them as the author as opposed to admin. So however you do that, you may want to uh, add some additional users so that the people who need to have access have access. Um, the next thing I want to run through real quickly is to point out that there are uh, really several types of content that WordPress manages by default. Uh, the first is a post. Posts are what blogs are made of. So if you have a blog website, your uh, website content will be primarily posts and uh, each post is an article that uh, that you create can have uh, media multimedia in it as well as words and uh, those things are arranged on your blog page and we'll show you how to set up a blog page here in just a moment and then there's uh, there is media uh, this might be uh, video or photographs and then pages pages are uh, static web pages that show up in the navigation item and uh, and we'll be showing you an examples of that as well so we're just going to get started here uh, right away I'm going to uh, open up here a uh, view into the website the front this is what we refer to the front end this is what visitors to your website see and we refer to this management or administrative area as the back end of the website and uh, when I log into the back end, I, I come to the dashboard, which has a lot of uh, most frequently used uh, uh, things right there on it. And so um, you're going to start here for administration. Your visitors will see this when they log in. So one of the cool things about the mantra theme that we like is the fact that it can have a front page uh, which is completely different than the the organization of the remainder of the site and this is very useful to be able to create a very catchy eye-catching uh, front page that provides easy access to information and to other pages in your site so you might have if you have four different main things that your site is supposed to communicate you might arrange those into columns here this number is flexible it can range from one to four and I'll show you how to uh, change that later you can have these are called sliders uh, each slider can uh, can have a link that takes you to a different location and uh, this is you can put your own images in here and down here uh, all of these colors and so on are completely customizable so right now we have the home page which is this special page and then a sample page which is actually an example that was provided when the theme was loaded and uh, this shows you what by default a page would look like so a page is static uh, your about us page would be a page if you have 
uh, a calendar that uh, your website is going to display uh, that might be a page as well so pages are static and appear in this menu this navigation area across the top which is tabbed in this case um, on the right hand side of your page is a sidebar which the content of which can be can be um, customized and it has things like recent posts recent comments archives etc in there right now by default but that's all all can be changed um, your pages can have comments or reply areas to create a discussion on your website the first thing we're going to do here though is we're going to go ahead and create a page a blog page so assuming that we want to do some blogging on this website uh, we're going to create a blog page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into new page and I'm going to title the page blog and I'm not going to worry about any content right now because the content's going to come from the blog articles as I post them so I'm going to put choose as my template the blog template right there and I'm going to publish that okay now I'm going to go back to the website the way the user would see it the front end and you can see here now that I have a new page I have a blog page if I click on that it's going to show up in that our blog article so this is the uh, this is the default hello world blog article that was created w when the theme was uh, installed and I'm going to go ahead and create a new post so my very first post is is right here hello world I'm going to create a new post a new post is going to be Content. Okay, now I can uh, save this as a draft for later. I can preview it and see how it looks on the page. Or, uh, and so here it is. Here's an example. Or I can publish it. When I'm ready to publish it, I just click publish and off we go. But before we publish it, let's do a couple of things real quickly. Um, we have some alternative formats that we can include. Um, we have categories. It's useful to think about what kinds of categories. Categories provide a quick way for your users to access or your readers to access content that are about particular things. If I tend to blog about um, if this is a family website, I might have uh, categories for uh, vacations, um, uh, concerts uh, that my that my um, uh, children participate in, etc. So that uh, it's a way of grouping categories. And a, a given post may be member a member of multiple categories, but it allows people to quickly get in there. And then there are tags. Tags are more informal than categories typically would have a kind of a relatively small number of fixed categories that you use but tags you can have you might have a million tags that you use maybe uh, you want to post every tag that includes uh, a, a, a you know content about your daughter Jennifer you might want to put Jennifer in the tag and anyone that has a photograph in it you might want to put fo say photo uh, etc so you can have as many tags as you want and again tags provide a way for your readers to quickly get to information that they might be interested in um, for your SEO settings you can add title tag uh, again search engines pick this up so having a, a title tag that is uh, is expressive of the information that you're sharing is good a meta description these are things that uh, are just kind of a description of what this blog post is about that you want the search engines to pay attention to and then just a search result type what is it is this a, a review a place or just a you know a standard piece of information so once I've got all that figured out I can click publish all right now we're going to go back to uh, I'm going to go back to the website again and look at our blog page 
and there it is you can see my blog my second blog post right there and I'm going to I'm going to do another post another blog post um, but this time I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you another mechanism by which you might create it now okay so my first real blog post okay and uh, typically this, this is actually pretty uh, a pretty nice editor here online editor but lots of times you may not want to to actually uh, actually do your writing in this editor uh, I really myself prefer to use Microsoft Word I'll write my blog in Microsoft Word and then I'll copy it in so I wanted to show you how to do that you can see this uh, what I just clicked on here is called the kitchen sink it shows another line of tools so I've got over here I've got a I'm gonna drag this in where you can see it um, I've got a word a Microsoft Word document so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy the content here just down not the whole thing but a little bit first page worth say okay and I'm gonna copy that so you can see what I did there okay I'm gonna make that go away and I'm gonna come over here and you see here it says there's a tool here called paste from word in the second row and again I got the second row to show up by clicking the kitchen sink over here so I'm gonna click that and it says paste from word I can use control V to paste it right in there okay I'm gonna say insert and boom okay it did its best to format the text based on the formatting that was in the word document and you can see it did a pretty good job okay now I'm gonna publish this okay and then I'm gonna go look at the website and the blog and we'll see how that turned out You'll notice that the uh, that the uh, information that you pasted in utilizes the styles that are theme dependent. So if I were to load up a different theme, this post would these posts would still show up, but they would not uh, they would be styled differently because the theme is different. We're going to be looking at here a little bit and how we can customize the theme. So here we've uh, actually created a blog page. Here, let's uh, take our sample page. I'm going to say edit page because this isn't content we want. I'm going to say about us. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, select all, control A to select all, delete all that, um, and say, you know, our family has been in America since the 1700s okay and so on and so forth so I can create a page for that I'll update that and you can see now if we go back to uh, sillafamily.com you can see that now we have an about us and the blog page so let's say that I want to uh, customize my menu right now I have my three tabs my home page my about us page and my blog page but I want the about us page to be at the end so I want it to go home blog and about us well I can uh, edit my menu so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to my uh, dashboard I'm going to under appearance I'm going to select the menus uh, control I'm going to create a new menu menu one create the menu okay and then we're going to put some content into our menu so we've got uh, a blog and about us page I want to add those to the menu okay I want to make sure they appear in the right order blog first and then about us that's the way we want okay now I want to add a custom link and this is going to go to my website so www.sillafamily.com right because we want a home we want a home tab and so I'm going to call that home and I'm going to add it to the menu. Now you notice it appears down here at the bottom. I can correct the order just by dragging that up to the top like that. Now this is actually very powerful because if I had a um, 
if I had a hierarchy of pages, uh, for instance, I had a, uh, a, a page of uh, where I wanted to show uh, our vacations, our family vacations. And so I might have a heading, vacations, and then under that, uh, 2012 vacation, 2013 vacation, etc. And so I, I can create a hierarchy of menus by simply dragging these. For instance, if About Us goes under Blog, now I have, see now about us will actually appear under the blog list. Just I'll just show you that real quick. Um, I'm going to choose, so I saved that. And I'm going to choose the menu that's going to be used for each of these locations. And I can leave it blank if I want. I don't want a menu in one of these locations. Save that. All right, then back to the front end. Okay, now you can see I have home and blog. And when I put my cursor over blog, about us shows up. So about us is now under blog. That's not what we want. So we're going to pull about us back out like that. Save the menu. And go back over here. Update. F5 to uh, refresh the page. And now we have home, blog, <coughs> and about us just the way that we wanted to see them. Okay? So that's how we create content. I can. Uh, create a new blog post simply through new post and I can create new pages or edit page content edit page to edit the content of the page new post to uh, or excuse me new page to create a new page um, and then of course I'll, I may need to modify my menu in order to uh, in order to get the menu to appear the way that I want it to again menus are under I can get to them this way so family and then menus in order to uh, edit the menus.